Here's a quick question for you. Do you know the first metal ever to be used by humans? Humans of 10,000 BC first extracted copper by heating blue copper sulfide ores. Little did they know that they would thrust the entire species into the path of progress. Since then, the methods of extracting copper have changed significantly and we decided to take a closer look into the process. So here we are standing at another uh, Aditya Birla Group plant. Today we are standing at the heart of Birla Copper and to show us more about this particular plant and what goes around in this plant on a daily basis, I have with me uh, Swikriti Singh. She currently is the area head uh, she, and she's going to definitely take us through this plant and tell us what she exactly does in the whole day. Uh, thank you very much Swikriti for joining us today and uh, you know giving us a tour of this beautiful plant. My pleasure and hi Paul. Welcome to the Bella Copper. So, Kiti, tell me a little bit about uh, you know the time when you were doing your engineering. Uh, was uh, Aditya Birla Group always in the scheme of things for you? So, I am a metallurgical and material engineer from Veer Surendra Sai University of Technology, Odisha. When I was uh, doing my engineering, when I was in college, I was. I really wanted to get into a manufacturing sector and I guess Aditya Birla is really one of them and I'm happy that I am in a company that's so reputed for its uh, you know, culture. I'm happy to be a part of this group. You said that you were always interested in the uh, manufacturing sector because you did your metallurgical engineering if I'm not trying, right? And uh, from there to you know making that journey, stepping uh, your foot for the first time at this particular plant, how was that feeling for you? So we learn a lot of a lot about uh, you know metal making in uh, metallurgy. So copper making was also a part of it, but it had basics. So as the basics give you know eagerness to learn and understand what actually happens on site. So as soon I got to know that I have been posted at this plant, I looked for articles, journals, and books that are related to related to copper making, and then I understood the process, and that made it easy and you know uh, helped me achieving the answer. The Solutions faster. Tell me a little bit, uh, you know, when you first came in here, the first year that you spent uh, at the Aditya Birla Group under the engineering leadership program, there are a lot of other stints that you also go through, right? How was that experience overall? If you have to combine that entire experience of engineering leadership program, how would you rate that for? freshers who are just graduating from uh, the engineering schools. The entire, you know, the journey, the ELP journey has been well organized and well planned. Uh, I guess it is very important for us, uh, for freshers like what I was, uh, to understand, to go through a smooth transformation. So this has helped me undergo a smooth transformation from, you know, college to corporate. And uh, the entire journey, the entire uh, schedule has uh, helped me develop all the, you know, required competencies, the skills like, uh, you know, management, people management, plant management, machine management and time management. So it is very important for us. So the one thing that uh, a lot of women who come into these kind of plants because they are manufacturing plants and they are mostly dominated by men the first sort of inhibition that they have is whether i'm safe or not was it the feeling that you also got i never thought about it i never i don't think it is different for women or men work is equal for everyone and uh, although people have their you know doubts but if you work, if you perform, no one is going to question you. So here at Bidla Copper, all my, uh, I have subordinates, I have my seniors. They all listen to me, they take my inputs and they do what I say, where it is necessary. Right. So I don't think there's a difference between men and women here. Swikriti, you said that uh, you spent uh, close to one, one and a half years. Uh, you must have considerably gained some amount of information about this plant as well and you probably would be the right person to show us around what exactly happens in your life every day on this plant so that people who are watching this will get some idea as to an engineer like you when they graduate what do they get to do so if we can roam around a little bit this particular campus and you can tell me a little bit about this place that would be great sure. let's go let's go Here's how the entire process happens. Copper sulfide ores are mined and transported for crushing, 
The crushed ore then undergoes froth flotation where the powdered ores are separated from the unwanted gang. The slurry is then sent for thickening where 30% pure copper is achieved. After a series of smelting steps, this copper concentrate is refined to 99% pure copper by electrolysis. Swikriti, thank you very much for giving us this uh, tour around this plant. I'm sure it's going to take days for us to cover the entire plant because it's so huge. Uh, but right now we are standing at a place where a lot of action is happening. I'm going to ask you about this day, but before that, uh, tell me a little bit about your day. What does it actually look like? What are other things that you do? As an area head, I have three main important roles. First one is operation, then second one is uh, improvement projects and third one is planning. So my day is divided accordingly. So the first thing I do here is uh, I take a plant round and then I assign my team the required jobs. And then after that we have a departmental meeting with our HOD where we discuss about the ongoing projects and jobs, whatever things are going on, plant activities, the challenges we are facing and the improvements that we can do. And after that we, uh, we decide what we have to do, we set our next targets and work accordingly. After that, in the second half, I pay more attention to you know uh, people management, uh, uh, service management, and material management, so that there will not be any you know scarcity of material at any time. And then I take out time you know to learn and to uh, understand new technologies that are going on in the world, so that I can implement these in my job and make it more easier and quicker and more uh, technologically advanced. What are the things that you have learned, Swikriti, from this place? It's been one and a half year that you have sent here, uh, working with so many people, working with the requirement of so many people. What has this taught you? My one and a half year journey has been great, kind of, you can say. I have worked with many leaders, many senior leaders, I can say. And uh, the skills that I have learned throughout this journey, like, you know, uh, analytics, data analytics, uh, digitization, people, machine and plant management. On this note, uh, Spikiti, uh, I am going to ask you a few more questions about your day, about the kind of people that you work with, about the managers that you have, about the support that you get on this particular plant. But uh, let's explore this plant a little more because the sun is also about to set. So if you can, lead me there. Let's go. in a place like this, in a plant like this, you always constantly need support. Uh, what has been the mentor support for you? Uh, what has been working with the people who have come in here years back and they have gathered the experience and now you are learning from them? All my colleagues, my seniors have always been supportive to me. You know, they have guided me on a path where I was new, totally new. I didn't know about anything about this plant or even the manufacturing process and the people. So my HOD, Mr. Jesh Patel, uh, my vertical head, uh, Mr. Vakil, and uh, our unit head. These are the you know these are three keen people that have always supported me, along with the you know HR team. So I'm happy that they have taught me a lot of things. There's a long time uh, ahead of you that's also there. You can build things, you can build processes, just like you are an area head now. Uh, there is chances that you will grow uh, higher in the hierarchy, right? Uh, so, how are you looking into that prospect? I am looking forward to learning more skills and taking up more responsibilities and working with more people. And I am definitely looking for something, uh, working somewhere which is out of my comfort zone. Tell me a little bit about people who are coming in for the first time, you know, uh, not knowing what to do, where to go, where to ask help from. What is going to be your advice to the future ELPs who are interested in joining a company like this? A uh, small advice to all our future ELPs, give your best, try to perform beyond expectation, never ever stop learning and you know, uh, never hesitate to ask your seniors and your colleagues and always remember you may fail, you may fall but a phoenix always rises from the ashes. Vikriti, thank you very much for uh, you know showing us around. It's a long journey that you guys also take, just like this uh, copper that has taken you know from the raw material to actually seeing these finished goods was an experience in itself. All the very best for your future and the kind of goals that you have set for yourself. Uh, if you want to ask further questions to Vikriti, there is a link in the description. 
Uh, she is going to be a part of the Conversations Cafe ELP that we are doing this time around with EBG as well, where Srikriti is going to be present to answer your specific questions about her life, her journey and Aditya Virla group in general. So thank you once again Srikriti for your time and all the very best.